Hello, my name is George from Hardware Electronics and in this video I will be demonstrating the procedure to connect your Hardware Electronics PDM to a FuelTech ECU via the CAN bus. Now this can be useful as you can access important data within the ECU such as your engine temperature, your engine RPM or your fuel pressure and you can use that data to control different functions within inside the PDM. And at the end of this video, just as an example, I will show you how to use the water temperature which has been provided by your ECU to turn on a radiator fan which has been controlled by your PDM. And obviously the ECU will be sending the water temperature data to the PDM uh, over the CAN bus. And so to start with, I have uh, obviously connected the PDM and the ECU together uh, via their CAN bus lines and I have added the termination resistors at the end of the bus and I've also connected the ECU and the PDM to the PC uh, via the USB cable. So the next step is to download the CAN configuration file for the PDM from the Hardware Electronics website. Now the CAN configuration file is used to automatically set up uh, the CAN inputs in the PDM to listen to the broadcast messages uh, sent from the ECU. So go to Google, go to the Hardwire Electronics website, which is uh, www.hardwire-electronics.co.uk. Go to the Downloads section and click on CAN Config Files. And then click on the file which is appropriate for your ECU. So I'm using a FT600 ECU, so I will select this file then click download and once that's downloaded we can go off this and open up the PDM configuration software so now click on connection click search for devices click connect you can see that you connected from the status bar down here now go to the configuration tab uh, go to CAN inputs and you can see that all the CAN input information here is blank and so if we click on load CAN, CAN config file click on the file that we just downloaded click open and now you can see that the uh, the CAN inputs configuration has been fully populated with all the uh, with all the values uh, for this ECU okay so now press send, that will send that configuration to the PDM and now we can go over to the ECU software and set up the FuelTech ECU to broadcast the, uh, the CAN messages. So go to the FuelTech manager software and on the sidebar here click on the CAN communication section. This will open up this page here and now I have connected my PDM to CAN port A of the ECU and you should click on send broadcast data and send fixed packet data and also FTCAN 2.0 and once you've uh, selected those values click write to ECU and once that's written to the ECU the ECU should now be sending out the uh, the CAN broadcast messages. So if we go back to the hardware electronics software and we have loaded the config so if we go to monitor live bar view CAN inputs you can see that now the PDM is receiving all of the CAN inputs from the ECU so we have, well you can see all these values down here, we have throttle position sensor, the map sensor, inlet air temperature sensor, water temperature, oil, fuel and water pressure, uh, what gear you're in, uh, your lambda sensor value, your RPM, oil temperature and a pit limiter flag as well. Um, so you can also see how many times we've received the messages and there's also the timeout as well. You can see that because the green bar isn't reaching the end, it's not timing out and going to a default CAN value. 
Okay, so now that we have got the PDM and the ECU communicating properly, I will show you how to set up the PDM so that a radiator fan can turn on when the water temperature here is above 85 degrees. So we can see here, if you bear this in mind, this is CAN input 4, which is the water temperature. So if we go to configuration and go to outputs, and we want to turn on, say, output 1. Um, so in real life, you would enter all these values in. But I'm just interested in programming in the logic for that output. So if we go to function, and now if we click on these three dots, click variable, if it was can input 4, uh, can in 4, variable is greater than and we want it to be greater than 85 degrees and click add so now we can see that output 1 will be on if can input 4 variable which is a value which we're receiving on can input 4 so if that value is above 85, then the output one will be on. And so you could use this to turn on, for instance, a radiator fan. Click save, and then you could upload that if you wanted to. Okay, so that concludes this video. Uh, this process for connecting your PDM to an ECU is applicable for almost any aftermarket ECU with a standard CAN output stream. Now we're adding more CAN uh, configuration files as time goes on and as we do more testing. Uh, so that's it for now. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.